All right, well, as I've already explained in the intro for part two, we're playing the back nine here at Arrowhead. Part two, if you haven't seen part one, you need to. Shot one over par on the front nine, so. That's good. All right, so I stayed in play here just barely. Didn't really have that much room over here on the right side as I thought, but it uh, doesn't matter because I'm in. And now I have an option here of laying up or going for it. I'm only 190, so I'll obviously be going for it. long I was not expecting to pick it that clean I literally I picked that absolutely perfectly wow what a shot way back there you guys so be a good eagle what uh, that one was tough it was on a ridge thought it was gonna break back this way and then go a little bit this way but it just stayed left the entire time all right still got birdie look here I left it short. It didn't even have a chance of going in. God, frick, that is so upsetting. All right, this is an interesting hole. 3.30, well, I should say it's 3.30 on a direct line. It's more playing like 3.40, but I'm going just right of those trees. Just right of these trees right here on this line. So, <sighs> bink, that's the play. in the dead center of the club face. I did hit it a little left of my target, but that could actually be there. All right, so it took me a while to find this, but there's my ball, okay? <laughs> it's somehow in play right there, and I have a really tough shot ahead of me, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna go set the camera up over here. You guys can watch the ball come in, okay? All right, all right, there, lad. Crazy shots out here already today. You didn't see it land, but it landed right here. Look at that. Let's make this birdie for the people back home. Dead straight. Such an easy putt. Gotta make some birdies out here for you guys. I'm gonna get more aggressive on this backside. I'm literally gonna go for everything. Look, there's some deer right there. Lots of deer, kind of everywhere. All right, coming up on the next hole here. About a 500 yard par five, so another very reachable par five. There's no really like trouble here, unless like I really spray one left or right. So a good drive here, get an eagle, dude, that'd be lit. I'll hit out of the sloshy turd, but other than that. Okay, it's gonna sound really good. That literally sounded like a missile being launched into space. All right, well, this, this is crazy. Well, I mean, a couple of things. I mean, it's crazy, number one, because it's so wet out here, wherever the ball goes, it's where it's gonna sit, so that's a good thing and a bad thing. Also, other good news, like, I'm just blessed to be out here, man. This is actually insane. I have a whole golf course to myself. I've never had that before. I haven't seen anybody on the course yet. So that number, that's actually insane. I'm glad I gotta do this for a living. I'm glad you guys watch these videos. Hopefully you guys are watching good, good. Staying up to date as to, it's just a, it's a blessing to be out here and I'm glad I get to play this course. I know it's not, it's not in its perfect condition. I'm sure it's been raining a lot here. I mean, there's literally huge puddles in the course. So it's been, it's been beat up, but to still be out here playing this course is absolutely amazing. So just shout out to you guys for watching. That's the main thing. 152 to this pin. I hit just about 300 in the air. I got nine iron because it's wet. So I got to catch it clean. That was a safe shot. Could have went for the hole, but I just, ah, just I'm glad I kind of got away with that. That was kind of a chunk. So, all right, well, I've got a long putt here for birdie. I'm just hoping I get it close.
made this. Can you imagine? Oh, that would have been one heck of an eagle. All right, I had to take the pin out there. Just want to hear this go in the bottom of the cup. A couple feet for birdie here. All right, perfect. That's a good hole. If I would have made eagle, that would have been nuts. So 207, trying to get something happening here. Oh, that was good. All right, now I'm gonna hit these for fun. Oh, that might go in. Sweet. All right. Well. Dang it. It's a great par, still even par here. All right, so here's the issue with this hole. It's short, it's only like three, I don't know what that says, 330. I could go for the green here, but I, I just, I don't really know what the angle is. There's some water on the left side. So I'm just gonna hit a four iron out there. This beautiful, absolutely beautiful, nice little waterfall thing going on up there. 100 and about 153, 155. You guys know the drill, a nice comfortable nine iron for them. You guys know it's super wet out here. I've been clubbing up on everything just to look out for the chunk. So I'm trying to go right at this pin though. I want a birdie. Oh, it started right at it. Dang, it started right at it. Ugh. This course is beautiful. I'm just looking around, looking at everything. All right, we got a puffer, buddy. Finally, a perfect little camera angle here from, from the cart. Dude, actually, literally just pin, just like even with the pin almost. Let's make this birdie for the, for the people, man. All right, pretty standard hole here. It's about 420, no, 430. The wind's picking up a little bit now. It's getting a little more cold. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Come on. This is tough. I hit this so good and it only went like 290 because it just gets stuck. Right in the grass like this. Now I got 145. And again, got a nine iron. Could even be eight. Oh, that just held up so well. Oh. Dude, the wind's coming this way. And I aimed just at that bunker and the wind didn't do anything on that one. Okay, you can't see my ball, but it's literally right over here. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Drivable and I need to hit the perfect center of the face because it's straight into the wind here, so it's been getting stuck at like that 290 number because of the, the wet stuff. So I need to hit this pretty hard and I need to hit it perfect. I think, I think that one's on the green. I think that one is on the freaking green. All right, well, this is tough. Oh, Green Evans. I mean, this is this is a. I honestly thought it was in the center of the green. That's why I was so confused. But this is a really solid shot here. So I'm just looking to get this up and down for a birdie and get back to. I think I'm. I don't know if I'm even or one under par, but this would be a birdie at least. Be good. Go. 
Man, these ah, screens are so much slower than what I think. Dang it, dude, I'm pissed at myself. I had a great opportunity, but left it short again. All right, it's gonna break to my right. Dude, look at, oh my gosh, it. Dang, that was a pretty hole. That was a pretty hole, that was a tough one. See if we can make the magic happen. All right, and the ending hole, you guys, is tough. I just came off of a nice par on that par three. Probably one of the easier holes, definitely the, one of the easiest par threes I've had, so. Glad to come out with a par, nothing worse. But this is a long par five, okay? I believe it's like 560 or 570, I'm not quite sure. But uh, it's long, so I need to hit a really solid drive here. I could hit this 330 and still have about 220 in, so it's really gotta be a good drive. I think that's up there it's to the right, but good angle in. Yeah, so that hole, <laughs> it was playing 560. And you can see that it looks like I have a long ways out. And you would be correct. That's about 295 yards away. Um, I'm going to try and slap a three wood from here and see what happens. But holy crap, I thought I hit my driver pretty solid too, but I definitely did not. But honestly, I would want to miss it here. This is the spot I would want to miss it. I got a perfect angle over the pin. All right, well... That was perfect. I mean, right in the gap between the fairway and, or the, the bunker and that patch of fairway over there, so I should be good. So you guys can see, I hit a really, really good shot with my three wood, gave myself a pretty solid opportunity. You guys can't see the pin, but it's just up over this. There it is, you see the tip of it right there? So I gotta hit my, I don't know the distance, but I got it. I got the 58, should be enough club. Dang, that was a tough shot. All right, you guys can see me putting back here. Uh. All right, and that is going to wrap up part two Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. I believe I ended up shooting, uh, I believe one over par. And this is a 72, so I shot about a 73. <sighs> if my math is right, I don't know. I tried to keep score, but I didn't keep score for like the last six holes. So. Hopefully you guys checked out part one and part two. This was a lot of fun. Played some pretty solid golf out here. That's gonna wrap it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed the full 18 out here at the Arrowhead. Let me get the name of the golf course right so you guys can know. The Highlands Course Lake Arrowhead at Wileska, Georgia, okay? So if you guys ever wanna come out here and play it, you can. It's very, very wet out here right now, so wait until it gets to the good seasons here, but that was a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's gonna wrap it up. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for checking out Good Good. That does mean a lot. And Good Good content, the Good Good content that came from Jupiter, Florida, I don't, know, I don't think it's out yet, but it is going to be insane. Something crazy happened once again, so yeah. Peace the freak out.